Tonal lines in the crystal invagination, which we gonna rename just simply the crystal imagination, because that's really what it is in regular everyday language. All right, so let's eat. Let's go into the eighth super scroll. Mm -hmm. The eighth super scroll. Thou shall be the wisdom, the wisdom of the living light from the true and living. Verse 236. Thus, the eightfold pattern is one of the most important keys to higher life. Yet, simply adding two additional spheres creates the ten sephra associated with the tree of life. This is the reference to a higher hidden or divine architecture that supports the universe and reveals Christ, the vehicle, the Christ consciousness, and the house of many mansions with their many levels, many frequencies, and many simultaneous realities. All right, and this tie back to the lessons we did last week. The ones on the lokas and the chakras and the ones on the astral world, the second world. However, the major schematic that illustrates this light picture superscript of eight is composed of not just two cubes, spears, or circles interlinking as the eight, but the eight builds upon itself to establish a multiple helical form as energy cells which run throughout the myriad nodal points of life. In reality, this geometry needs to be seen as, a, as multiple spheres, just like when we talked about the pyramids in the conic section. This geometry needs to be seen as multiple spheres where we commence from the figure eight composed of two spheres and then continually add additional spheres as an ongoing helix is created, which is also the form of the energetic axial tonal lines in our body. All right. So the figure eight composed of two spheres and then continually add additional spheres, just like on the tree of life with the sephira, all the multiple spheres of circles, all right? As an ongoing helix is created, which is also the form of the energetic axial tonal lines in our body. Let's go to the keys. Let's go to the keys. Chapter Page 523, key 317. There is at work within all biological systems a path for interchangeability to standardize unique vibratory levels. Our galactic body of creation controls its renewing functions through meridian axial tonal lines which are the equivalent 
of acupuncture lines. All right. So within the body, our galactic body of creation controls its renewing functions, the functions that can renew you through meridian axial tonal lines, which are the equivalent of acupuncture lines that can connect with resonating star systems. These axial tonal lines are not limited to a physical body or a biological creation, but are open-ended and can connect the body vehicle with axial tonal lines that emanate. So again, these axial tonal lines are not limited to a physical body, meaning they're not a temporal creation, they're not a physical creation, or a biological creation, but are open-ended and can connect the body vehicle with axial tonal lines that emanate from the various star populations and exist as chemical code mechanisms, similar to the same way that solar flares affect us, even though we can't see them. All right, but once that energy is based, everything's based on energy when you come down to it. All right, so when man with the capital M, when the spiritual man can discover the connection between his life space and the axial tonal grids controlling the body through endless cell division, man will have a new super science known as medical astronomy. So again, when spiritual man can discover the connection between his life space, pause, let's get a precept. Let's go to page 498. Verse 51. Thus, even in this world, there is a greater image space which determines the design of biological molecules. Again, even in this world, there is a greater image space which determines the design of the biological molecules cellular differentiation and the overall shape of living systems and the interrelationship between the outer membrane of the flesh, the inner membrane, the Shekinah universe, and the crystal membrane. Pause. Let's get, a, let's get another precept. Let's go Let's go to verse 7. As the earth begins to send pain signals to the higher thinking membrane of the brain. Again, as the earth begins to send out signals, she begins to send out that she's going through travail to the higher thinking membrane of the brain of the spiritual man. Pause. Let's precept that. Go to page 454, verse 3, and let's read about how, about the brain. The brain of man is part of the divine mind, and by decoding, and by decoding the human brain's mechanisms of memory storage, in relationship to the universal language process, a higher hierarchical memory is revealed. All right, what the world calls, for instance, the Akashic Records, where there's a, a higher level of consciousness memory that can be accessed. All right, but the brain of man is part of the divine mind, and by decoding the human brain's mechanisms and memory storage, in relationship to the universal language process, a higher hierarchical memory is revealed. All right? Along with being able to access the over self and, and be in contact with other beings and entities. And spiritual man discovers that he is a pulsating geometry 
of a divine language system. Pause again. Let's get the definition of mine. The linkage capsule between the divine language systems and the language systems of the mind-body complex, the biotransducer system. The housing of the wetware or perceptual apparatus for the mind to reality of higher intelligence. Enoch said the mind is localized in consciousness, but consciousness is not localized in the mind. All right? In the wetware. Here the mind receives images from an infinite number of mind twos that compromise levels of the quanta universal mind. And mind two is the second world of consciousness, the astral realm that we read about last week. A second world of consciousness development preceding the world of physical form. A second world of advanced intelligence as an over-self governor connecting the planetary mind-body complex with the functions of the universal mind. Mind two works considerably faster than mind one and interconnects with numerous entities within the greater universe. All right. So now, let's go back to verse seven on page 494. Again, so as the earth begins to send pain signals to the higher thinking membrane of the brain, speaking on the mind too, the minds that are activated to pick up on the signals, those pain signals are heard and new wave structures of light and love are sent back to make the repairs necessary for life to continue. For the key to the life force is atomic and subatomic fields is love. All right? Love is the key. Love is the fulfillment of the law. Go back to verse 51. So again, thus, even in this world, there's a greater image space which determines the design of biological molecules, cellular differentiation, and the overall shape of living systems, and the interrelationship between the outer membrane of the flesh, the inner membrane of the Shekinah universe, speaking on the molecules, the cells, the atoms, and the crystal membrane. Pause again. Let's get the definition of crystal membrane. A unique network of crystal which can process higher light flowing from the outer surface of the membrane to the interior membrane. So it's a conductor. And from the inner membranes back to the outer surface. On a mega scale, crystal invagination between island universes allows the masters of light to repair and regenerate interstellar life. All right, pause. Let's go to page 123. So we see the crystal membrane, but let's see the seed crystal for the crystal membrane. Verse seven, the human body then has the awareness that just as there are 12 meridians of higher light connected to the seed crystal, the third eye of the body, the mind's eye, all right. Again, the human body then has the awareness that just that there are 12 meridians of higher light connected to the seed crystal, the third eye of the body, so also the planetary membrane, the planetary biocomputer has 12 higher light focal channels. These channels are used to reprogram the human creation and act as key points for the exodus that occurs from this threshold control to the next ordering of evolution. All right, so it's 12 meridians within the earth, 12 meridians within the body, all right? 
in the 12 meridians of the Maseroth. All right, all connected. And the seed crystal is what allows this connection to take place within the biotransducer system of the body. All right, so let's read again about the crystal membrane. Now that we understand the seed crystal, a unique network of crystal, all right, of fine light, which can process higher light flowing from the outer surface of the membrane to the interior membranes and from the inner membranes to the outer surface. All right, so picture the energy flowing. The, limit, the energy is flowing from the outer surface to the interior and from the interior lighting up back to the outerior. On Omega scale, crystal invagination, all right? Let's get a precept for that, for crystal invagination. Let's go to page 499. All right, and it's going to show why it's really the crystalline imagination. Because when we use our imagination, everything is created in a light form in our mind. All right, which is just like a, it's a crystal design. All right, of the crystal sea, the mind's eye, the third eye. 71, crystal invagination is more than the bonding link between the structure of the outer and inner membranes, remember the teachings on the, the astral realm and the teachings on the locus and the chakras, all right? How there's an inner world and it's based off energy transduction, all right? In the imagination connected through the mind's eye, crystal invagination or crystal imagination, the crystal imagination is more than the bonding link between the structure of the outer and inner membrane. In the parallel phase of giving step functions, meaning in alignment, the crystal in imagination, the crystal imagination is the key to the life process itself that is able to interconnect with other membrane circuits. Verse 73, on omega level, the crystal membrane invagination works as a sacred model of a highly ordered structure of energy to connect the light of the inner universe, the higher light of the inner universe supplied by Uriel with the higher light of the outer universe supplied by Metatron. And through the intermediate bonding, and through the intermediate bonding, between these membranes, the energy cycle of evolution is regenerated by the power of Melchizedek. All right. So think about how we talked about healing with the mind and the ability to concentrate and focus. Because the two worlds run parallel. The astral realm and the temporal realm of the flesh and the axial tonal lines is the meridians that connect the vibrations of the seed crystal, all right? What the seed crystal is imagining in and seeing in that crystal invagination, and it aligns the two, all right? We're gonna see it causes changes, all right? To occur to the outside, all right? Back to verse 51, man himself, is the repository of this image space. The image space of the outer membrane, the inner membrane, and the crystal membrane. As the unfoldment of the Adam Kadma. However, man must see himself going into a body form. All right? His astral body. Through a body form and beyond a body form to understand just how the higher life flow reprocesses every molecular and consciousness level. Back to page 523. So when man can discover the connection between his life space, that inner space, and the axial tonal grids 
controlling the body through endless cell divisions, man will have a new super science known as medical astronomy. Now let's go back to the A superscript, verse 240. Distinctly, a greater body has been given to us which has the biohealage and the axiotonial lines, both of which can receive the higher light, as revealed to the ancient prophets, such as Elijah, Enoch, Ezekiel, and Daniel. So in essence, when we seek wisdom, we are in the process of activating our consciousness awareness, and in turn, the biohelix, which is activated along with the axiotonial lines. The axiotonial lines, like the DNA, have their own synapse lattice sites through which energies can collect around the body and pour into the body, establishing an extended energy grid connected with the stellar realms. The axiotonial lines further connect the stellar realms with the same lattice, which becomes the processing linkage for energizing the logos power within us. All right, so think about the chakras and the energy lines. All right, let's get the definition of axiotonial lines out of the superscript. Vibratory lines which connect levels of human electrochemical activity, vibratory lines, which connect levels of human electrochemical activity with astrobiological circuits. You see the connection, the crystal invagination, the human electrochemical activity, plus the inner membrane, the astrobiological circuits, all right. Vibratory lines which connect levels of human electrochemical activity with astrobiological circuits that span the solar system and are connected with resonating star systems, the locus. The axiotonial lines connect the acupuncture mapping of the human biological system with superior astrobiological analogs. So again, verse 243, the axiotonial lines further connect the stellar realms with the same lattice, which becomes the processing linkage for energizing the logo power within us. The process of reconnection and reality is a coupling of the structure of the body's axiotonial lines interlaced with cosmic pathways of energy transduction, which reinforce the genetic codes and all cellular functions to come into alignment with the over self body in the higher heavens, all right? Thus, axiotonial lines represent pathways of energy fluxation within the physical body, which allow for connection with the universal energy currents that are drawn into the human system where they maintain the decal workings of the body in conjunction with higher consciousness energies. These energies can appear helical and they can also heal and align. Heal the body and align the light bodies, the pyramids, the spears. All right. So you tie the axiotonial lines with the aura and the chakras and the crystal imagination with the seed crystal of the third eye. And you can make magic happen. All right. Peace.